In today's video I am doing a review on Turkish Airlines from my recent trip from Slovenia to Istanbul and from Istanbul to Miami, Florida. When I left Slovenia there was a really bad snowstorm and this is 6 o'clock in the morning and this is how the parking lot in the airport looked. This is flight from Slovenia to Istanbul, flight number TK1062 and the flight duration is 2 hours and 15 minutes and the type of aircraft is an Airbus A320 narrow body. Disabled passengers may refer to the specially designed safety video within the in-flight entertainment system or simply get in touch with the flight attendants for more details. Unfortunately, you can't see the plane taking off from Slovenia because, as I said before, we have a very heavy snowstorm and it's pretty hard to see from the windows. All, all of our windows are pretty much frozen. As you could see, they're doing a pretty good job at melting the ice on the wings and you could see all the ice melting on my window. This is the first meal that I'm getting and it's on the flight from Slovenia to Istanbul and it's a breakfast. And this is our breakfast. It has scrambled eggs, a Turkish style omelette. It has a little tray with cheese and cucumbers and olives. It also has a brownie. We also have some water. We have bread. We have marmalade. We have butter. And we also have orange juice. This is a closer look at the tray that has the cheese, it has the cucumber, and it has the olives. It has two different types of olives. It also has the brownie and also the water, the bread, the marmalade. And after 2 hours and 15 minutes of flight, we're finally landing in Istanbul in Atatürk Airport. And here we are flying over the Bosporus River, which separates Asian Turkey from European Turkey. It connects the Black Sea with the Sea of Marmara. As you could see, the plane already has started to make its descent, and we're going to be landing very shortly in the beautiful city of Istanbul, Turkey. finally landed in Atatürk International Airport in Istanbul. Now Turkey has a new airport which is already pretty much opened and is gonna be the biggest airport of the whole entire world. I hope that the next time that I land in Istanbul I will be landing in Havalimani International Airport which is the new airport in Istanbul. And this is the second flight which is the flight from Istanbul to Miami and is flight number TK0077 and the flight duration is 12 hours and 55 minutes and the type of aircraft is a Boeing B777 wide body. And this will be the path of my whole entire journey and this is my journey from Istanbul to Miami.
as you could see on the map, I pretty much have to cross pretty much the whole entire world just to go back home. Turkish Airlines does not use any flight attendants to instruct the passengers on how to use their seat belts or where the life vests are or all the instructions that they generally give all the passengers. What they have come up with is this very cute and this animations on the TV screens. They are Lego and uh, they're like cartoons and they're teaching people how to do all the things that regularly a flight attendant would be doing and this is a fun way for kids to be entertained and not to cry in here our airplane is already started taxiing in the runway and we're going to start getting in line with all the other airplanes to take off from istanbul to miami The Turk International Airport is a very busy airport and as you could see here we have to make the line and there's a lot of aircrafts as you could see here they're all making the line and we have to wait our turn to take off. After making the line for a very long time, I can finally say we're finally taking off. Turkish Airlines has a chef on board their aircraft and the chef prepares all the meals for all of the passengers and this is first class passengers as well as economy class. So we are given a menu so we can choose our lunch and we can also choose our dinner. This here is the menu that is given to the economy class passengers and it has a very good selection of meals. And in here I have a beverage menu which I could choose any drinks, coffees, teas, liquor and the liquor by the way you don't have to pay for it, it's free. So this is awesome because you could choose to have this at any time during your flight. And this here is my lunch, I have kebabs, I have rice, I have some vegetables right next to it. I have a chocolate pudding, I have bread, I have a salad, I have water, I have lemonade, and I have hummus. This little pouch here is an amenity kit which is given to the economy class passengers.
In here we have an eye mask and this is excellent for the people who want to sleep in such a long flight. In here we have a lip balm which is very good because when you are stuck in an airplane for such a long time your lips tend to get dry. In here we have a pair of socks and these are long socks that they have the little non-slip thing on the bottom and these are excellent if you decide to take your shoes off and relax your feet. In here we have some slippers and this is great if you want to stand up to go to the bathroom or you want to walk around you could just put your slippers and be very comfortable. In here we have a toothpaste and a toothbrush and this is excellent so we could wash our teeth after our meals. In here you have earplugs and these are excellent for people who want to sleep and do not want to be disturbed by the noise of other people. I really had to share this with you, this is such a beautiful sunset. We're flying over Iceland and Iceland is a European island located midway between North America and mainland Europe. Here we are given a menu for the second time and this time we're going to be choosing our dinner. In here again we will be choosing the beverages that we want with our dinner. This here is my dinner. I have paprika chicken, I have rice, I have bread, I have an apricot mousse, I have salad, I also have water, and I also have lemonade. By the way, this lemonade is homemade and is absolutely delicious. I recommend it to anybody. And finally, we're landing in Miami International Airport. After 12 hours and 55 minutes of flight, we're finally gonna land in Miami. Unfortunately, it's late at night, it's very dark, and it's very hard for you to see anything. So you're really not gonna be able to see the landing. you have enjoyed this video and if you have please go ahead give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to this channel please go ahead and do it now and thanks for watching bye